Good evening, this is Tina. Uh, this video is gonna be an exercise. I want to apply all the stages we have learned so far in uh, in one uh, aggregate method. Okay, so uh, let me go here and show you. Find dot limit one and dot pretty. So in our restaurant, this collection, we have uh, so many restaurant, and their structure is like this. Okay, and uh, now I'm trying to do yes. Uh, I want to count how many numbers in each district and each cuisine. Okay, it's a bakery, it's American style, it's Chinese style, and uh, at least in their, <coughs> at least in their um, grades, at least one of the grade is has two, at least one A. Okay, this is what we are trying to do. So the first thing is we are trying to do a match, which is a filter those uh, restaurant which inside they are great. They don't have any A. Okay, so how to do that is yes, we're using this one. Uh, DB dot R E S T A U R N restaurants dot aggregate. Okay. And aggregate here, uh, we're using this one, and then here we give a match. Match, and uh, how to do match based on what? Match based on the grades, okay, which is uh, this one, this grades. But here we want, here the grade is an array, so we cannot directly add a condition like greater or equal. So we have to filter using this one, right? And to do that in the array, there's a operator called uh, element match. You can take a look at by yourself, okay? And to uh, make sure one of the element inside this array match the condition here. And the condition is a grid. Grid must to be a grid, oh sorry. Grid equal uh, then, okay. A. Okay. So here, uh, when we do here, uh, the too much. Okay, we can do a count if we, to check if it actual fil actually filter. How to do the count? There's uh, one another uh, stage called the count. <coughs> okay, and after count, you just give the uh, what's the thing? The name. Okay, with the number sum of uh, rest. Uh, S R E S T A U I restaurants, okay, and you can see the result is three seven seven two. Let's see how many total result in our this collection, okay? The total, oh, same. So let's change the condition. See if actually okay. So how about using lower than? Lower than uh, C. B. And see. Okay. So now, okay, oh, uh, it has one, okay? So here, there's a change. So, so that means this grid, this filter works, right? Uh, one, three. Okay, one, okay. So now it works, right? Because our total um, uh, total uh, size of uh, restaurant collections is 3772, and after we have a condition, it's going to be this one so the match works okay so next one yes we want to do the group because we are trying to do is a group based on what group based on the district and the group based on the uh, cuisine how do that using dollar sign group group based on id and id should have two one is a cuisine a district And we also have a dollar sign district to get the value. And another one is uh, uh, cuisine. Okay. And uh, what's, what should we do for this one? This is a group, this one is, okay. What should we do? We just get the sum 
of products, a sum of restaurants. Okay, and how do that? Sum and one. Okay, so now let's do uh, a perfect object mass contains one field. Let, let, let's take a look at it. Okay. Ah, uh, oh, this one put it in wrong place, I guess. This one put it in wrong place. This is ID. Okay, put it here. Put it in wrong place. And then sum one. Okay, so you will see it has lots. Okay, if we do a count, if we do a count, count. Uh, sorry, 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 sorry. If we do a count, it has so many. Okay, number. Okay, sum. Uh, number. Okay. You have two o eight. Okay, two o eight after this one. But the result, which is as we expected, so here it has ID. ID is filtered by, uh, grouped by district, like Queens and Cuisine is a text, uh, Texas or Max. Okay, and this Cuisine is a stack. Okay, Manhattan stack. And this is all the products we got. This is how many for stack and uh, Manhattan, the stack Cuisine has uh, 14 restaurants, right? And here, Brooklyn, uh, the cuisine is a delicate senior. Oh, okay, anyway, it has eight, okay? And they have others like uh, uh, Brooklyn, have chicken, chicken has six, okay? So after that, yes, I don't like this style, okay? I don't like this style. I want our result just to have the strict Manhattan cuisine steak, and uh, some of the products is the a uh, number. I don't want to have this ID. How to do that? We do a project, right? After this, we do a project. Project and here. And we will say ID. Because uh, when you do the project, ID by default is uh, showing there. So we are using ID as zero. Okay? Which means standard show ID. Then here we will give a uh, district which is the value, which is the value, dollar sign, underscore ID dot district. Okay, and then we have another one, which is a cuisine, okay, C-U-I-S-I-N, -S and what's the value? The value is dollar sign, uh, ID, dot cuisine okay do you get this one id zero means i don't show this entire id okay because by default it's gonna show and district okay this is a new my new uh result structure district gonna have uh what's a district gonna have the value the value is id a district which means from id district and the cuisine is id cuisine okay and we also need to make sure our the sum sum pro hey eh? i using products here here should i show restaurants okay i e s t a u r n i t restaurants showing here and then i'm gonna go back to change the group okay here should I show restaurants r e s t a U I restaurants and now let's run and to see a uh, cuisine here have one spelling error see here cuisine okay and go and show do you see a difference do you see a difference see here previously it's like this like this one right id district queen and the cuisine and the sum of products like this way this is previously after project this is what we got like here i have a sum of restaurants district and cuisine i don't have the id like this way now see here previous id is an object now it's a spread okay kind of like spread and after that what we can do is so uh, you can do a sort sort based on the sum of pro uh, restaurants okay you can do a sort 
okay and the salt based on the uh, sorry, salt based on the sum uh, sorry this sum sum of uh, restaurants and uh, based on the one which is uh, ascending we can go as the uh, descending okay oh sorry descending is minus one okay see here you will see it's uh, sorted by this one see got it this one okay you can type it to see iterator to see more okay so here this one has the most manhattan for american style has the most okay and uh, manhattan has the italian style which is a 204 okay and uh okay this one and the next one you can do is continue add like after sort you can do a you can do a limit like a limit like a two okay if you want to have a skip you can skip like a ski uh, sorry i will skip the first 100 okay like here then you can get a two okay six rent on the Bronx cuisine is mixing has six and district okay and uh, this one has five i skip 100 okay and the limit two okay so in this case we're using all of them like uh, uh group uh group project match sort skip limit okay like a group match group uh what thing project and the sort skip and limit okay uh that's it for this video and uh, it's kind of like uh, pretty long to write here the reason why i don't use in compass is i'm not that familiar with compass how to do that how to actually give the uh stage probably we just add here let's let's try okay let's try first add a match first try to add a match let's see have a match okay you yeah. let's see match it uh, should have a match here okay match what's the query the query is called uh, hey this is very smart the query is called uh, mm, grades right and I go for the grades I was using uh, e oh very smart element am I see here oh my god let me comment this one okay and uh, you will see oh it's very easy to explain and after this stage it will uh, those those documents are gonna go inside here then go inside oh very smart let's let's do this one first okay after the using grid element each element okay we're using what we use grid we sort based on the grid right and then grid which gonna be have uh, uh what thing less than equal to b okay so here see uh this is the original document documents and the sample so after we match we actually didn't change the st structure of the <coughs> structure of the document right now we select a group group here we group based on id id is based on the two and uh, the first one is using the district okay and we give value district and then we give uh sorry uh cuisine oh this is much easier oh sorry here I have something wrong okay here i need to use in dollar sign right to refer to the value and also here using dollar sign to to refer to the value which is the cuisine okay oh very smart and then here here we were using we were using field what's the field i want sum of uh, pro, uh, restaurants okay and what's the expression this one accumulator do you see Accumulator is sum. Okay, and uh, expression is one. Okay, so after this, see here, 
See here, he'll give you some sample. So after this, after this is the this is the original documents, right? This is the original documents in our database. After the match stage, it will it, it will give you result like this. Okay, this is the twenty sample, and then after group we applied your documents. Okay, your documents become like this. What I did, what I did. Okay, the document become like this, which is uh, what's the structure in your group? It's gonna be structure or after the group stage. Okay, see here the idea, the queen and the cuisine and the restaurants, right? Oh, and here is one, and uh, the queen and the pancakes has a four. Oh my God, this is very smart, and we can continue. Continue is yes, I don't want to have our ID have is become an object. I want is just to have the strict cuisine and uh, some of restaurants. Then I will select project. Okay, in the project, what I'm gonna do is uh, I will make ID equals zero, which doesn't show ID. You can see if I make ID zero here, you can only see restaurants. But now I will do is I will add one more, which is a district. Okay, I will using the value. What's the value? Dollar sign ID dot uh, ID dot district. Okay, and then you can see, you can see here, see here district. Okay, and now we see here. Uh, we have oh, sorry, sorry, sorry here. Okay, let's see. We have to add a cuisine, right? And here we will still use the same thing, id uh, dot cuisine, okay. And then at the end we are using because if I make a id equal zero, now the sum of restaurant by default for other fields is disabled. So we want to show this one, okay. We want to show sum, okay. Previously the key is called a sum of restaurant. We call sum, okay, and we give the value. Then give the value which is the sum of ASTAUI restaurants. Hey, what done the show? Hey, what 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 I did? It's because of this one is the key. Oh, here I forgot. You should remind remind me. Okay. Sum. Okay. So now, previous, this is the result after this group. You will see ID district and this one, right? ID is an object. Now, after this project, it become like this project project stage. District cruising and some, which is gonna be whatever, kind of like a structure you uh, choose here, okay? And you can add more stage, like we want to sort, okay? So now, so now this sum, this is unordered, you can see, sum four, two seven two and nine it's not that I have order so we can do an order sort okay sort based on based on which field sum okay and in which order in which order which is uh, ascending order is like this so you can see one 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 and if I use a minus one you will see like this okay Ascending, descending. Do you see the change? The 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 you are sort okay, and you can add more like a skip. Why doesn't it allow me to do? This one doesn't allow me to do. Okay, I don't know what happened. Uh, we're using a skip, skip number. Okay, one hundred. Okay, then add stage stage limit. Oh, this is much easier. Limit, and uh, we're using five. So here you own. See here how many? See here the sample of twenty. You will see lots, lots of. Okay, and here we only has five. And uh, I think we can also export save pipeline as uh, dot like uh, E S T A U N pipe. I don't know why they saved. Export to language. Oh, 
and it can export port. This is my pipeline. See, this is a pipeline we wrote. Uh, th this entire thing you can just uh, put inside the well. You can just uh, put it inside your uh, aggregate method. You can see here I have the match, I have the group, okay, and I have the project, I have sort, and I have skip, and I have limit. Okay, very good. Anyway, if you can do uh, the, using the share, you can if you can do using the share share, okay, then I you definitely can do using this uh, compass, okay. It's interesting to see this uh, like a GUI way, okay, and it can help you to understand what you're actually doing, okay. Okay, that's it for this video. Uh, thank you for watching, and uh, see you next time. Bye bye.